Hey guys, welcome to the channel. So today I'm gonna to work on carving up a herring, a blue herring. These are something that we see around here in uh, upstate New York, in the Adirondacks. I've got one over there. That was the first one that I did and I thought, you know what, it came out pretty cool. So why not do another one and uh, make a video for you guys. Now there's a storm rolling in, it's gonna be here in about an hour. So I'm gonna to try to get this whole thing done before we start getting rain. We'll see what happens. If not, we'll just pick it up later on. So I'm gonna fire up my saws. Gonna be running all gas saws in this video and then we'll be using the power tools to clean it up. If you can see the carving in the background, that's basically the look I'm gonna go for, but maybe a little bit taller. So be sure to stick around, don't go anywhere. All right, guys, I'm ready to go. Saws are gassed up, sharp. Got my safety gear on, got my tunes in. I'm gonna start throwing some sawdust here in a minute. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up and hit subscribe if you haven't already. Let's get started. guys there it is blue herring crane all chainsaw I mean you saw me get out the die grinder here but starting to sprinkle so I kind of got to get all my stuff picked up I think what we'll do is a second video and detail it now I didn't mention it in the beginning this piece is carved from catalpa so it's more dense than pine but it's still considered a soft wood I believe so it carves really nice it actually smells pretty good too um, check it out though connected here in the back in the one leg the other leg I goofed up cut right through on accident what are you gonna do these things happen we use the die grinder with a bunch of saber-tooth bits 
get rid of all this fuzz and we'll start adding some detail to this guy. Hope you guys have enjoyed this carving so far though. Be sure to give it a thumbs up and hit subscribe if you haven't already. And when you hit subscribe, hit the bell so you can be notified to all my new videos. Yeah, oh, I had somebody ask about t-shirts. I'm gonna work on some t-shirts. Um, I know I said that a while back, it's just, it's been crazy, you know? So, might just do uh, the logo and uh, just Kyle Hall Woodworker with the logo that I have and, you know, just something basic for now. Yeah, you guys will know, it'll start popping up under the video. So, again, thank you guys for watching. Well guys, that rainstorm blew in and I had to stop working for the day, but now we are back, same video, and we're gonna be cleaning up this carving. I'm gonna be using my burrs from Sabretooth and my die grinders to get the job done and add some detail work. I don't think we're gonna do any paint, but maybe we'll hit it with the torch and burn it just a little bit. So, don't go anywhere. There you have it, my second blue heron I've ever carved out of a nice piece of catalpa wood. Just finished sanding it up as you saw. Used my die grinders, my saber tooth bits, and this uh, file sander or finger sander. This is a Chicago. I have links below to all the tools if you guys are looking to carve or learn to carve or use the stuff I'm using. I'll, uh, I'll find links to the same thing or something similar if I can find them. So this really was a fun piece. This was something different. I Like I said, this is only the second one I've ever done. I'll probably do another video on these when I uh, get a little bit better and I can get some more detail in there. I like these. I think they look really, really cool. You can get a lot of detail with a lot of cuts back here, making the grass really fill it in, you know, really hollowing out below and uh, taking it all away. The nice thing with the with uh, the catalpa is when it's dry, it'll hold a decent amount of detail where sometimes pine doesn't. Um, that's gonna be it for this piece though. I'm not gonna do any more work on it. I'll continue to uh, practice making them because they're fun and they're pretty neat looking. So if you guys enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and hit subscribe. Check out the links below. You guys can follow me on social media, whether it be Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, uh, you guys, all those links are below, so check those out. You can also purchase my work through my Etsy store. I've got a link to that. I've got a lot of older pieces on there, and sometimes I throw up some newer stuff as well from time to time, so be sure to check that out. I just want to thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you next time.